Hello and welcome to Biology Interest. Okay, this video isn't about a cucumber. It isn't even about a flying cucumber. Although, thinking about it, a flying cucumber would be pretty cool. No, this video is actually about seeds and seed dispersal. So if you don't want to listen to about that, find another video. Seeds from a plant can be dispersed in so many different ways. And perhaps one of the most common dispersal methods is by wind dispersal. Now an interesting adaption to this method of seed dispersal is winged seeds, seeds with wings. And the seed I'm gonna be talking about today is a pretty cool example of winged seeds. And that's the seed of the Javan cucumber. So it's got cucumber in the name. <laughs> or Alsomitra macrocapra is its other name. And it's found on Indonesian islands. It is perhaps one of the largest and most impressive wing seeds. The seed contains two wings, uh, coming off from the main actual seed bit, and it has been seen to have a wingspan of around five inches or 13 centimeters. The seeds grow in massive pods of around uh, 30 centimeters, kind of grow next to each other in big like sheets um, until they ripen. And as they ripen, the wings dry out and the long edge furthest away from the seed actually curls slightly upwards helping to create an aerodynamic design that allows this seed to glide great distances. Now the distance they can travel varies, but they have been seen spiraling downwards in around 20 foot or six meter circles, although a large gust of wind could carry them much, much further, with them being found on the decks of, of big ships far, far out to sea, showing just how far they can actually go. Now the seed actually moves by gaining height, stalling, dipping and then accelerating downwards, producing more lift, allowing them to continue forward. It's in a similar way to a, how a butterfly moves in a process called phygoid oscillation. Now, the impressive distance that these seeds can travel has often inspired some early aircraft designers, and they're even similar in design to some modern stealth bombers, such as the B-2 stealth bomber. It's great to see how designs from nature created through countless attempts to spread their offspring in, in countless failed attempts that shows how these attempts uh, that have been refined can be used by humans to create even more advanced machines that, that end up working really well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos from Biology Interest. Thank you.